guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday, May 20th, and we are scrap lifting Natalie Dill of Delightfully Crafty over on Instagram. Now, I saw this layout that she did. It's an eight and a half by 11, and I was really um, drawn to it because, you know, it's Disney, and I thought I would be scrap lifting this in a Disney way. I've got the Disney kit this month and all of that, but I've had these papers chilling out uh, around me for a little while. These are my scraps and I thought, you know what, how cool would it be if I actually use up all of the scraps this time? So I have these guys um, and then I pulled a sheet of this dotted Swiss uh, textured basil and then this really old American Crafts uh, paper that I can't even tell you what year because it didn't have it. I am going to be scrapbooking these two photos. Uh, this is Lana opening uh, her presents on her birthday and then a shot of the bags. So let's see what I can do. All right, so I went ahead and took that branding strip off of the American Crafts paper. And just to give you an idea of how old this American Crafts paper is, there's no decoration at all on that branding strip. Uh, so I did trim that down and then I took that basil uh, kind of textured khaki cardstock and I trimmed that down uh, as well to 11 and 3 quarters by 11 and 3 quarters. That way I just have this little edge of teal peeking out from the layout. Um, and in Natalie's layout she had uh, the red peeking out. I went ahead and decided to trim down my uh, pieces here. Now my photos are going to be a lot larger uh, than the ones in Natalie's layout, but that is also um, because I'm using a larger format. So this one uh, is eight and a half by 11, but I'm actually scrapbooking 12 by 12. So my photos are going to overlap each other. Um, and then I figure out how I want that to happen in a little while. I do mat one of the photos on this wood grain paper, um, and then the other photo I mat on white. I just decided I needed a little pop of kind of freshness, which is a weird word to say when you're scrapbooking, but I really feel like this, this white uh, paper does that. And I am sipping my coffee and just noticed I dropped a tassel into it, so that's fun. Um, it's the tassel that I will try out later in the layout. <laughs> it's literally dripping coffee. Anyway, um, I can't believe I just did that. So now uh, I have the white uh, layout here, not layout, the white piece here. And um, I just decided that it needed that pop of white on here. Um, the inspiration layout has white as the background, but I decided to go with the khaki uh, just because I thought it was a fun uh, color combination. So I am adjusting where my strips are going to go. Since the photo that is matted on white is going to be on the left hand side of these strips, I didn't want the white strip on the left hand side. Um, but then I decide to switch the photos around um, where the white photo is on the right hand side. So I just switch the two solid uh, color strips here. So I'm going to uh, make a decision, adhere these bad boys down. Uh, and then ultimately I decide I don't like that gap up here uh, between the two pink strips, between that darker pink and then the pattern. I don't like it. it. It just feels weird and awkward. So there's the coffee cup with, you know, that the tassel will fall in here shortly. So I just reach over to my washi tape and I basically grab the first teal one that I see and it's this uh, diagonal stripe one. So I just put that over a white scrap of paper. Um, that way it gives me the opacity I want and I'm just going to tuck it in here to cover up that gap uh, between the two white strips that are not white strips pink strips that are that are making me feel awkward and uncomfortable 
I am going to do that uh, at the top and the bottom of this layout. That way I just have the continuity. Um, and plus now, instead of just having teal um, in the border and on this one strip over here that has all the fun colors on it, I'm kind of bringing it across the page. Uh, and it also really pulls out that little bit of teal that is in this uh, frame that I have going on here. Now over on the left hand side, um, there is a tag and a little bit of embellishment, but I decided to go with a couple strips on this side as well. Um, instead of two inch strips, however, I went for one inch. Uh, and then I'm going to do that same thing with the washi tape and bring that striped color over on the left hand side of the page as well. Um, I'm okay with the gap that I have between the little bit on the left hand side of the page and the uh, stripey bits that are on the right hand side of the page. It feels like two separate elements to me. Um, the gap that I did not like on the right hand side, that was because my photos were overlapping and they were one element that felt disjointed over something. Like the underneath of it felt disjointed. Does that make sense? I hope it does. I hope I'm explaining it uh, okay. Um, so I just am going to add a little bit of extra adhesive just because I want to make sure that the stuff stays stuck down. Don't want things falling apart. Um, now my layouts are not going to stay in a pile for uh, three months uh, like they did with the 100 sketchy video series. At the end of the month I will put all of the layouts away so there's, there's less stress about that. Now I went ahead and pulled out some die cuts where I knew I had some birthday themed ones. Um, and I'm just trying out a bunch of different things, trying to figure out what I want to add, where I want to add it. This birthday cake is super cute and it does make it onto the layout. Um, but I try out some like birthday balloons and other things like that and nothing really feels right. So I'm gonna go ahead and just stick with that cake uh, die cut. I am going to uh, pop it up on some foam squares and then I decided to bring in a tag after all and layer it up with that frame. So I really like this combination over here. Um, it definitely makes me happy. Um, you know what else makes me happy is that that tag on the inspiration layout, there's no naked tag hole. Um, my tag hole over here does stay naked for a little while, um, just until uh, I figure out what thread I want in that hole. So here's where I'm trying out the birthday balloons. I'm trying to uh, figure out if I need to add some little bits uh, here and there. I do pick out this plaid on plaid teal uh, tab here, so that's going to go there. This is where I'm trying out these balloons. So I tried a, a bunch of different ones. They didn't feel right either. Sometimes where, when you think you're going to need embellishment somewhere, um, it just doesn't happen. And I am okay with it not happening on this layout because there's a lot going on, you guys. Um, there's a lot of strips, there's a lot of bits, and the photos take up a good amount of real estate on the page. So I'm not too terribly worried about uh, embellishing a ton on this layout. Um, I feel like the paper layers kind of do that for me. Um, plus my background is two-toned and textured. So I've got all kinds of fun things uh, going on on this layout. Now I am gonna take my good sweet time finding something for a title. And uh, that's just because I thought I had a specific birthday thickers um, and I'm, I'm flipping through and I don't see any, but I could have sworn that I had them. Um, I might have just missed them or I might be imagining things, who knows. Um, could be, it could be I am imagining things. But I'm looking at this layout and I'm, I'm trying, gonna try out some things. At first I pulled out those, uh, those thin gold thickers and I thought I could use Happy Day because you know, this is a birthday layout. But that's not going to work for me. Um, I'm just like, no, no, that's not going to work at all. So I am flipping through and trying other things. And I keep um, flipping through because I know I have birthday themed thickers. But apparently I don't. 
Now I do ultimately uh, pick out a baby themed thicker that says dreams. Now I'm pretty sure this is the little adventurer collection I want to say. Um, Pink Paisley came out with this two years ago. Um, it had a boy collection and a girl collection. I decided to go with the pink one because I felt like that was uh, the best match. Uh, the blue dreams in the other thicker set is a little bit more blue and a little less teal. So I didn't, I didn't want to introduce that color blue into the layout. Now I do tear apart this solid maroon uh, cardstock here and bring it down just a little bit. Um, just because there was an awkward amount showing underneath of the title and I felt like it just needed a little bit more. Now I do have these Jelly Bean Soup tiny uh, word stickers, not word stickers, letter stickers here. Um, and I'm just going to spell out the word birthday. This is also something that was sitting on my desk from when I was scrapbooking with it before. Um, and it's sitting on my desk because I haven't put it away because there's a little bit of laziness going on. Actually, um, I don't usually clean up everything after every single layout. Usually I have things that kind of sit around um, and I can just pull them in for the next layout because why go through the trouble of searching for something um, when I can use it twice instead of just using it once. And you guys definitely know I'm all about uh, using my stuff um, because the more you use, the more you can buy. And I, that might be a funky philosophy, but that's just the way I see it. Like if I use this stuff up, I have room to buy more. Um, and you know, I like shopping for scrappy supplies almost as much as I like creating with my scrappy supplies. So I am going to pull out this metallic twine. It is a silver uh, metallic, but I'm, I'm not too worried about that. Like mixing the metals isn't stressing me out whatsoever. Um, I go ahead and tie a bow and place it onto my tag hole so it is finally not naked. Now I also put that number 18 on top of the birthday cake. I'm going to grab my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive and dot it around uh, in a couple places. Uh, so that I can have a couple clusters of these uh, sparkly gold sequins. Now you guys, these are my absolute favorite sequins ever. Um, I don't know what it is about them, but the, the glitter and the sparkliness just, just makes my soul happy. It really does. Um, I am using my Crystal Katana to go ahead and pull those uh, sequins out and make sure that the super sparkly side is up and uh, adhere them down to the page. Now, I do think about journaling on this layout, but then I'm like, mm, I've got a bunch of Lana's birthday layout, so this is going to be one of those ones that I don't do uh, a terrible amount of journaling on it. Uh, the one thing I do add once the camera stops rolling is uh, her name and then the date, um, and that just went on that little white piece that is kind of hanging down. Uh, on the right hand cluster. So that is going to do it you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm having so much fun with the May I Scrap Lift You series that was started by Crystal of Pineapple Papers and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.